Hello everyone, I'm here with part 54 of my T8 guide. So we're going to start off picking up these first two guys. First guy you want to just um, shoot as you're um, keeping the door open. And this other guy we just lob a couple grenades over. And the bass sniffer does a pretty good job of letting us know if he's alive or dead. And just like always with the stairs, we're gonna take this out. I get stuck on um, one of those little lips there. That doorway should be. And that was one of those direct hit automatic explosion deals. That worked out pretty well. So I'm gonna go backwards to try to get myself some health. I gotta find more of that good stuff. And I believe that's the last of the health in this uh, like uh, operation room. So we're gonna have to go back a bit farther if we want to heal up some more. So time for a lot of um, pixel pistoling. So we got a lot of stationary guys that aren't gonna budge. That guy, I wasn't. I wasn't planning on him being there. He wasn't there um, in a couple of the previous uh, deaths I had. So there is a slight randomness factor as well. So I'll just keep him in mind. And really just keep all of them in mind, technically. Fails. Switch to something a little more covered. Stock up on grenades because we're kind of using them fast. Um, in a previous lifetime, uh, I got stuck on that table, and its um, its teleportation didn't really sit well with me. Get off the table so we can avoid that altogether. Uh, looks like I did really well that time with all those uh, grenade lobs. Now there's some mobs upstairs that are kind of a pain to deal with. Usually it's best to figure out exactly where they are before they know about you. So you can get some cheap shots in. Then the second guy is going to know exactly where you are because he killed his buddy. So now we got to go back a ways to get our health. Uh, if I remember correctly, this is all the health we have reserved at this point, so if we get critically low, we're going to stay critically low until we find some stuff uh, in ahead in the future. Mm, that stuff really works. So let's make this count. I believe by the end of this video, I get reunited with the machete. And that will be a glorious time. So this is the supply closet. It has some health as well that I forgot about. So we do have a backup plan. So, as you were able to see there, 
uh, mobs are coming you from the kill. right, not from the left. So when you uh, prepare for that, um, be sure to choose the correct angle. I definitely need more of that. that Molotov and I spend a lot of time trying and ultimately failing in the end if I remember correctly. Oh no, there it goes. I guess I was getting unlucky with the uh, crouch sequence before and then I just magically got the right amount of ups. Probably at the point where I should be switching over to standard weapon, but I persisted. And for whatever reason, I switch I after it's all set up. Uh, well, at least it paid off. I feel better already. Good thing we still have some health lying around. That stuff really works. So then there's a vest upstairs, so we're gonna go and claim that. There might have been some other goodies up here too. Ah oh yes, that frozen animation cat ends up being all of our Apocalypse Weekend cats. Um, so that was an interesting little victory. Um, I don't plan on using cats, but uh, it's nice to know that uh, they're still safe and sound. And then my, uh, my stinks and my almost a hundred doggy treats. I'm anticipating another wave of um, army, so I'm going to be prepared. So this time I get the height advantage. And the video is going to end up ending pretty soon, so I will see you next video. Good luck, everyone. I gotta find more of that good stuff. <laughs>